The What It Takes Radio Company, we present one of our premier programs, which is Interesting Ideas and the special weekly broadcast of the Transformation Project. It's for you people who want to make a difference in the world. And today, you know, it may not be real until they see the picture. Well, let's get the story behind that. Greetings once again, ladies and gentlemen. Truly an aspiration in this age of a... We want more than a touch of civility. We want integrity, and we want to have a good time creating things together. That's right, creating things together. Hey, I have come across a lot of interesting ideas, and the thing I like about interesting ideas is I usually run into interesting people. <laughs> and so uh, let me do this. Let me introduce you to Kevin, and he'll just tell you a little bit about who he is and what he does. And then uh, I will jump in with a few other comments, and then he's going to enlighten you on how you can have more fun and make more money by learning what he does. Kevin, you're on. Well, thanks, Dan. And interesting ideas. I, I guess I fall into that category. Um, so let me present this. I am a visual translator, and a lot of people get different ideas about that, and that's fine. So I'm here to explain a little bit. So visual translation has been around since, well, since man could draw on cave walls, I guess. And one of the things I discovered about drawing for myself is I could share ideas and concepts that help other people understand. So as I progressed this idea of going, okay, what is visual translation and how can it help others? By visually capturing, creating a story, I can share their ideas, their conversations, their concepts, so other people can understand it. And I'm going to give you an example that came from Stan exactly, was how do we translate the idea of transformation? How do we create an image that has a story or is connected to a story. And in this case, I wanna show you an example of that illustration. If you look at this illustration, you will notice some interesting uh, details. First of all, I'm leveraging Da Vinci's original man. The idea that the man has different form. But if you look closely, that man is in transition or transformation. I also wanted to add some color that talks about how broad transformation can be. And then to encapsulate it in, for lack of a better term, a golden ring, referring to the world that they create. This is a graphic, an illustration to help promote the idea of transformation. But it goes well beyond that. If you look behind me, there is another visual translation of how businesses can convey their ideas, can convey their story. And as Stan likes to say, it all begins with an image. Uh, it, you know, storytelling is the only truly effective means of communication. It's not facts and figures. It's not, you know, benefits and features. It's storytelling. And what I've discovered also, and you've helped me with this, is, you know, unless it's an image, it's not real. But in today's world, seeing and hearing leads to greater believing. And so when they hear it, but then when they see it, it becomes much more real. And um, that's why I have been fascinated by your discovery and uh, when we're doing the transformation project podcast that's why we use this image because it helps to tell the story and as you can see uh, he knows that i like bright <laughs> and i like bold 
and I like strong, and I, I, I like to show creativity. Those were the words that I gave to him. And uh, then he said, let me see what I can be and do for you. <laughs> and when he showed me five or six, guess what? They were all so darn good <laughs> that uh, I had a hard time making the choice. But this one, because I knew it would bring in something that a number of people knew, the um, Da Vinci thing. But by the way, uh, if, if he would show you or could sometimes show you some of the other features, that he, they were all so unique, good. And guess what, Kevin? I've kept them <laughs> just because we may want to eventually change our image to create a story, right? Correct. Then, you know, that's the important thing is when you have an image, it's connected to a story or a purpose. What I find really amazing about all the ones that I did for you is those five or six words you gave me. Those were very important. That's what I had to translate to be able to convey to other people, this is what's going on before even Stan talks about anything. And it's interesting, one of my methods or mottos is dream, see it, which is what I do, then others will believe it. There's the communication aspect of it. And then you can achieve it. So seeing is believing, and believing is achieving. That's the goal of a visual translator. Uh, you know what? We're in radio for some people. <laughs> As I say, if it's really important, say it three times. <laughs> so you're on for three times. <laughs> Dream it. That means you have to imagine what the idea is or the concept. See it, and that's where I come in, is to draw it out so others can see it. And vision is very important when it comes to ideas or communication. Then once they see it, they can actually begin to believe it. They can understand the nuances, the connections, all the things that the drawing will help you with. Finally, if they believe it, they can help you achieve it. To explore somewhere, you need a map. You need to know where you're going, or at least map along the way as you went, so others can follow along. When people talk about discovering America, do you think people believed it unless they showed them the map and said, there it is. Oh, I believe you now. Wow, I want to go there. It's Dream, see, believe, and achieve. There we go. Please remember that. And uh, as I oftentimes imagine myself, as I'm in that particular situation, is that's because you touched a bit of my emotions. Um, you know, as I say, uh, it can sit on your head, but eventually it has to kind of move your inside spirit. And you know what? It may even touch your heart. And if you can go from head to heart, uh, that's a that's a big deal. It, and it's a something that we're all trying to achieve. As a, one of my friends said, in effect, all communication is when my heart and your heart connect. That means that beings connected. And let me add this one other thing is, in effect, he went to a conference. Very important conference. I wanted to go, but I couldn't make it. And so guess what happened? He did a picture of it. And then I got a transcript of it. And then I could understand the audio transcript so much better because I had Kevin's picture map in front of me. Bingo. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, when we talk about visuals and emotion, it's what I really like about it. And I'm going to go back 40,000 years for this example. And your radio people don't have to worry about vision. They know what a cave painting looks like. 
is the oldest cave painting known to man is about 40,000 years old. That's a 40,000 year old story that people still can understand today. Visuals cross the language barrier. They also cross the emotional barrier. Text is good at it, but not great at it. Text and typing is not nearly as good as talking, but talking and showing is power. And remember, what did they teach you in kindergarten? Show and tell. Yeah, it's, well, it's the same way you learn. That's how we learn. Children's stories, to me, are picture books with subcaptions. Right. That's what they are. Yeah. And uh, no, no one writes a good children's story unless they have a world-class illustrator. Correct. All right. Hey, tell my good friends how they can, they know how they how to reach me because I'm always talking about what I can do. <laughs> but now it's your turn in your town. So give us your 60 second and uh, where they can reach out and start getting uh, to know you and your illustrating. Wondermentstudio.com or you can email me, thinkologist at wondermentstudio.com or call Stan. I'll stand and I will and I'll read I'll send you to the picture man, the brilliant illustrator man, maybe even the next Norman Rockwell. Who knows? <laughs> that I doubt. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't call himself an artist, did he? He called himself an illustrator. All the best. Take care. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being with us and uh we look forward to you coming back to Kevin and I as we talk once again about uh, how we can be more interesting by having an interest in others. <laughs> Start there. Be interested in their story. Be interested in their pictures. Be interested in their life. Have interesting ideas yourself. And uh, when two interesting people can meet and talk and share pictures and stories, Innovation happens and great things can be achieved. And it can all start because somebody had an idea, interesting, and they created a picture, which put it across. Take care, my friends. Take care, Kevin. Bye for now.